Okay, quick handheld video on the Sonoff Mini. So I use a lot of smart switches for changing stuff in my house, but um, this is one where you can take a Sonoff Mini um, and use an existing light switch to um, make smart. So this is a regular switch and it's been wired into the S1, S2, which is the gray section, which is just regular dry contact. So any old switch will do there, but normally that's a, that's a switch that's connected to lives. Anyway, and then as you can see, there's my light. It's going to be the changing room lights. And yeah, just to show how the wiring goes. So in comes power. You bring in power on um, the neutral in and the load in. Those two wires there, which go to my little plug. And then um, to, the, to the light is the load. So that will be a neutral and a uh, neutral and a load. But this is just shown as these two, which is, as you can see, load out and neutral in. So that's basically your, your, your light socket. And I'm going to put this into the actual light socket just now. And how does it work? So this has been added. The son of money has been added as a device called change room. If I put change room on, there's the light that comes on. And if I want to use the switch to turn it off, I can toggle it off. So quite nice. It works as a toggle. You can see the change room actually respects the state. So it shows me that it's on or off. So that's really cool. It doesn't get confused. And yeah, I can now turn on my change room light, either using a regular old switch. Um, okay, like that. Oh, I can toggle it out, so I'm quite chuffed with that, and I'm going to chuck that into the the change room light, and then I can turn it off from our bed as I do all the other lights. Okay, okay. So here's the add-on, the final install, just to see how the sun off gets wired up and goes into an actual light socket. It's just quite a tight little small single switch, but that's fine. Here's the here's the switch, same same wires I had in the previous video, going to the S1, S2. And you can see live in is marked clearly there, coming from the red live wire. The black live out, which is really load, is going back to the switches there. And something that unfortunately I have to do, but maybe you should check with your electrician if you do this, is that the neutral isn't present in these kind of light switches. So I just take a neutral off the earth, um, which I've done quite a bit and seems to work for me but you should probably check with your electrician if you're going to do it like this. But yeah, the no neutral, the no neutral present can be a problem for all, all smart switches. And uh, that's how I solve it because neutral is a bit like ground um, in my world. And that's it. And then you can see, you can switch that on and off. There's the lights from there. And I can obviously do it from the smart app as well. Now. Okay, let's see how we are. Last video, just to show it all installed. You can see the lights are coming on there. And you can see it in my app, the e link app. It's good working as well. And I've actually installed the switch upside down, which is not a problem because it's neither on nor off, it's a toggle. So whenever I switch it on, that works and it will work with Google Mini. And that little box fits it real nicely in the back there. So we now have smart change room lights. Isn't that beautiful? Out. Alexa, turn on the change room. Hey Google, turn off the change room light. Got it. Turning the change room off. Ha! Both smart speakers immediately work with the uh, e link stuff. Isn't that cool? So you can also do it from here. Turn on that light comes on there, and yes, the light works too.